talk about Matthew Flinders, there's been a book written about Matthew Flinders and his cat. But what is missing from that story are that there were two Aboriginal men who travelled around Australia on his journey when he circumnavigated Australia. And one of those men was a fellow called Bungaree. And he was probably the first Australian diplomat. Whenever the boat pulled up at the shore in anywhere in Australia, and the local Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people were a little nervous about them coming ashore, he would go ashore, he would spend time with the local people, and he would pave the way for Flinders and the rest of the group to come on shore and do the things that they wanted to do. And what it calls from us as Christians is that open heart of loving your neighbour as yourself. And I think that's one of the most wonderful things about Bungaree. My grandmother, Auntie Lola James, she's now passed. She worked within the health and well-being sector. The biggest thing for me is that she foster cared so many, about 200 children. And she also was awarded Victoria Honour Roll of Women in 2021. She wanted to make things right. She wanted to, you know, have a positive impact on the community. She honestly is a big inspiration. I want to be able to, you know, follow in her footsteps in some sort of way. I think for me, Uncle Paul Briggs up in Shepparton. He's a Shepparton legend, but he's also a life member of the AFL. The AFL have honoured him with that. Just he, he's worked tirelessly. He's set up foundations and he's set up with uh, pathways for young people. You know, he put his arms around me at a time when I was a mess and took me in and, you know, and he did that for so many kids. I think if you, you're talking about being Christ-like, you know, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you dressed me. You know, when I needed a bed, you gave me somewhere to crush. You know, and somebody like Uncle Paul, that's, that's, his, that's his shtick. And he wouldn't sit there and going, I'm doing this to be a Christian. He doesn't do it for a reward. It's just how he's programmed. It's his DNA is to care for people. The reality is that Uncle Paul grew up through a time where he wasn't even human in the constitution of this country. And yet his ability to partner with and live alongside of and had, have no grudges and to be as gracious as he is, is inspiring.